like how uh, were you gonna tackle Zane in celebration there if Blake hadn't beat you to it? I was uh, no, he's too strong for me to tackle. I was trying to get I don't know. I kind of blacked out for a second, <laughs> and then when I got there, he was on the ground, so I kind of towered over him a little bit there for a second, but. Um, that was probably, we, we made some really nice defensive plays today and some that get lost in the shuffle there. Simo going to his left and a few others. Obviously, Cal's done a good job, but that was the biggest defensive play for either team uh, today. And Somehow he stumbled down to the ground, but uh, when he's between the lines, he's pretty graceful. Do you have an update on Jared Tracy? Uh, no, not in particular, other than better safe than sorry in the situation. And uh, we, I don't know, may, maybe we brought it up last night. Um, too much and it came to fruition. We got guys that I think are dying to get out there and that are capable of doing damage out there. And KT just missed one against a good pitcher, really good swing. Uh, so we'll see what we got tomorrow. Um, obviously, he was phenomenal at the plate today um, and, and has been big for us, you know, leadership wise too. So regardless of what his status is, I think his presence is still going to bring value to the team. And then we'll see when we need to get him back out there. Was it his shoulder? Is that what it was? Yeah, there? sliding in. Um, and Doc Clink said one thing to me, but I don't. There was, there was too many vowels in there, and I don't know what, it, what he said. Did Dolander tweak anything? I know you guys came out. On no, no, a cramp, and, and a few guys cramped. To be honest with you, um, and KT just missed a home run. So, if anyone wants to apply for our strength coach job, uh, Q's more of a cook than anything. He's cooking ribs tonight, so um, maybe we'll put him on that duty, and I'll take over the strength coach duties and make sure the boys are hydrated. But. If you think about it, we haven't really played in muggy weather this year anywhere. I mean, we've gone down to the state of Georgia. Um, it just hasn't happened. And today was kind of the first little bit sticky day. And some of those guys were, were cramping up a little bit. Fortunately, they got time between now and uh, tomorrow to take care of their bodies. You mentioned Zane's good defensive play, but obviously they put up, you know, six straight runs and getting you guys answers. Do you think you can get off the crowd with that? Yeah, it was huge, and, and these guys got a little bit of a knack for whatever reason at responding or answering back um, when maybe things don't go our way or the other team does damage, and it's a great attribute to have because you consistently feel like you're moving forward regardless of what's going on. And I think part of that is you know the chicken and the egg thing. Part of it is the mentality we've had for the last few weeks has been more push forward regardless of, of what it looks like because it's it's always going to you know look dicey at times. So. I think it was a byproduct of that, and, and it goes without saying those two runs were, were great for Burnsy. I mean, you trust him in a one-run game, no doubt, but uh, he and I will take as many as we can get. What about his uh, the, his overall game? He obviously had, like, a, a key RBI in the game as well. Just his overall day today. Yeah, I think his approach, you know, one thing we were just talking about is Jared is so good at being in the box and kind of attacking the at-bat the way he wants to, maybe based off the situation, maybe who the pitcher is, what he's trying to accomplish. And Zane is kind of, he's always been an accomplished hitter and a talented one. It just seems to me, without asking him, there's just a much better approach in certain situations, whether it's with two strikes or against a pitcher who's got unique stuff or an RBI situation, whatever it might be. And probably experience helps. But again, I, I think when you're wanting to win and you're on the hunt to try and win, you end up kind of coming up with some theories or, or again, ways that you want to attack the situation. How was your, how was your Sesto's outing? I thought he was really good. I mean, it was important for us to get a chance to take the lead today. I mean, when you went on Friday, you could think, well, the other team's more determined to win than we are. We got, we got one. So um, I'm kind of speaking, if I was coaching for any team, I think you want you know, to take that lead so you feel like you're in charge of the series, you're in charge of the game. And he throws up a big zero there. Um, and then overall, if you, if you look at what he did for us for over the course of five, five plus, pretty good because these guys aren't going away for nine innings and you know up and down the lineup competitive and, and talented hitters so um, for him to give us the base or the foundation that he did was tremendous and not using Burns last night we, we were trying to do whatever we got to do to get to him and uh, maybe a little bit earlier than we wanted he probably got to um, we've talked in the office 45 with him going out there and letting it loose the way he has is ideal but he used 50 pitches today and and obviously got the job done. Does it surprise you that You know, a little bit, I guess, you know, I don't mean to speak for them, but maybe when you're kind of trying to strategize, you're just playing the percentages and, and you want to go off of that. And uh, again, it's tough to speak for anyone else, but I, I think it's good that our hitters take serious and practice, um, you know, the ability to bunt or with two strikes to hit the ball that way um, or wherever it might be. Um, yeah. 
you like that early inning, I guess, just a bunch of singles, leadoff walks from Mallory? How nice was that inning for the offense? Yeah, it was great. I mean, um, obviously, we've hit a few homers uh, this weekend. Um, but there's a bunch of different ways you can help the team win. And Blake Burke, he hits them further than anybody during BP. But another thing we just discussed is last night it was the walk that he, he helped us with or hurt the opponent. And today it was the single. And as the game goes on, again, if, if you're kind of searching for ways just how do we got to win, you'll end up finding there's a bunch of different ways to do it. And uh, I like it when he, you know, he or the other big guys in this conference, uh, Caglione or whoever it might be, hit a long one is really cool. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're trying to have more than the other team on the scoreboard. And that could come with Cal Stark getting hit by a pitch or Blake Burke just getting a single, uh, good base running, whatever it might be. You know, we've been talking about Sydney a lot, but obviously you're coming up big in that moment. And then later in the game, it's always like a super easy action. You talked about his leadership at Cone Coffee and at SEMO and, you know, kind of going over some stuff. Just what is he bringing to this team? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's the right word for a bunch of baseball dudes, but love comes to mind. I mean, he just kind of, he, a lot of you have met with him before. He's just got a lot of good energy coming out of him. And, um, you know, he's got love for his teammates. He certainly has love for the game. He's got a passion for hitting. Um, I think he's got a love for this place. And so a lot of his behaviors and the way he goes out are, um, you know, kind of stemming from that. And our, our guys feed off that. I mean, no one wants to be around someone that's negative all the time or, or uh, you know, uh, has the opposite of what energy we're talking about with him. So. That's one of several guys that have helped kind of sway the dial from, you know, hey, it's great to be at the park, but it's it's not as good as it could be to now. It's it's kind of it's a fun spot to be. I mean, this was a competitive game. I don't know why you would expect anything else out of an SEC game. And there was quirky things that happened. And what I said to him out there is take the scoreboard however we can get it. At breakfast and then all the way through nine innings, maybe a minor hesitancy in there when they put together a tough inning out of our group. But yeah, I'll show up and do that every day, all day, till I'm, I don't know how, I don't know how long it's going to last. <laughs> and <laughs> increasing the chances of hosting here in a couple of weeks, has that been a thought in the back of your head these last couple of days? Not, not really. Keep, um, I mean, I said it earlier, so I'll just kind of use it as a cliche or keep pushing forward. Um, you know, there, there's uh, new things that are going on in the locker room, the dugout, certain personalities. Uh, obviously, there's a lot left shifting around of lineups and things like that and pitchers where we put them. Um, but Burns, he's new, you know, he's new to that spot still. Um, Doe still seems to keep getting better as the season goes on. Those are just a few examples. So just keep pushing forward. And again, um, it's overstated, but let the result or the scoreboard take care of itself tomorrow. Um, keep pushing forward. And um, regardless of how many games we play in the stadium the rest of the year, um, they're dwindling. So take advantage of those opportunities. School's out for summer, and uh, come, come here and play ball. Well, it wrong for Cameron today? Uh, you know, he said it wasn't, you know, kind of coming out. He's instead of feeling like he's in charge, he was just kind of trying to get through. And by that, I mean just find a way to get an out. And they had a really good approach against him uh, as well. Um, I don't, you know, with Coach A's standards and then how competitive Cam is and kind of was after the game, I calmed him down. Like, dude, we just won the game and you gave us four really big outs. Um, a big part of last night, because you're playing a whole series. And uh, fortunately, our offense had did some things that, that could potentially help us tomorrow. Uh, but on the pitching side of things, we we're able to do whatever we had to do last night to win the game and get us in a position where we could use that trio that we wanted to use today, go from Doe uh, to Suey, and eventually we were hoping to get to Burns. Go to Burns a little earlier than we want to because it didn't work out for Cam, but he got four outs. And uh, talk to an SEC coach that doesn't want an out. And again, you know, with Doe kind of cramping up and, and them doing a good job battling and getting the pitch count up, he was a valuable bridge, in my opinion, to, to the day. And I'd assume the next time out, he'll, he'll be better. And with Burns, those first couple of pitches didn't go all that well for him. But what did he do to get back on track and, and close out the game? Yeah, you know, I, I think early in the year, um, to no fault of him, because I was in the same boat, it kind of infected us a little bit as a team. You kind of start to have the mindset like, man, it's not going our way, or where's our breaks, or we're not doing as good in this area as we should. And again, that lever has shifted, um, in my opinion, mainly because off the field, but it's poured out onto on the field of now, regardless of what's going on, keep, keep moving, keep doing what you got to do. And maybe it's been the flip to the bullpen, but again, I think it's more kind of the environment around the team. It's going to get tough, especially if you come out of the bullpen and you're doing what he's doing. It's either going to get tough right away because of the situation we bring you in, or it's just going to get tough because you're getting the other team's best punch. 
and he's handled that in, in a pretty incredible fashion, if you ask me, if you put all the outings together. And then, you know, today one thing that hasn't been said yet is he went out there for a while. Um, you know, new role, we use him a bunch in a short amount of time, a little bit of soreness, let's call a timeout and, and make sure he's good. And, and so that was his first time out there in a little bit, and you know how geared up he is. So, you know, maybe a little bit of overthrown or maybe some good patience on their team, but uh, what he gave us today was a series win. It was nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.